I'm not leaving until you talk to me. Mary, what's going on? It's a little hard to explain. He does this thing where he pretends he's in an alternate dimension that occupies the same physical space we're in, but he can't perceive us. Don't flatter yourself. I'm just ignoring you. Right, come on, Sheldon, let's go home. Look, we're done fighting. I've heard that before. Then the next thing you know, I'm hiding in my bedroom, blaring a Richard Feynman lecture, while my mom is shouting that Jesus would forgive her if she put ground glass in my dad's meatloaf. <laughs> And my dad's on the roof skeet shooting her Franklin Mint collectible plates. Hey, there's gonna be no more shouting and no skeet shooting. Really? Where's your friend Justin going to sleep? Yeah, where is he gonna sleep? Oh my God, would you let this go? Why should I let it go? Why don't you just tell the guy to find another place to sleep? Oh. Oh, for God's sakes! So, you have childhood issues. We all have childhood issues. At some point, you just need to grow up and get past them. Fire! Fire! Whatever, please let me handle this, please. Look, let me... Sheldon, please try and understand. Look, Leonard and I are in a relationship, and occasionally we're gonna fight. But no matter what happens between us, we will always love you. <laughs> right, Leonard? Always is a long time. <laughs> sure, always. You know, how about we buy you this robot and then we all go home? I want that one. <laughs> OK, you can have that one. Oh, come on. He's just going to play with it twice and then it'll end up in his closet with all the other junk. <laughs> Buy him the robot, Leonard. Can I get this comic book, too? <laughs> yes, you can.